when Luther posted 95 theses, which is a big part of this year's celebration, uh, he had uh, he wanted to discuss on university campuses and elsewhere what was at issue, what was keeping people from getting the joy of the gospel and so on. And what it was was the fact that he saw the church uh, putting the clamps on, uh, too legalistic, too rigorous, too uh, no joy at all in it. So his first thesis is when our dear Lord and Master Jesus said he wanted repentance, he willed that the whole of our life should be repentance. And I have uh, had some fun. I love that. Every time Jesus is at a table with somebody, he wants to repent. When he deals with an adulterous woman, he wants to repent. When he talks to his disciples, he wants to repent. Well, what's the big deal? Well, in the Hebrew and in the Greek, repent really means a, a turning around, all the way around. So when you get back to the original words, there's a philosopher that, uh, on whom John Paul II wrote his uh, doctoral dissertation who said, think of those words and think of repentance as a change of heart. Uh, he used an illustration of when you're mountain climbing, you look down below and you see it very differently than when you're down in the middle of it. And repentance gives you that new perspective on life that you look at it that way. Uh, it changes everything. And I think that's very close. So my key words would be for you and change of heart.